Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Lisa. Um, today we're going to be making that rice. It was a nice side dish to ham. It's a nice side dish for any meal you make. It's white rice or you could use um, uh, brown rice. You could use whatever rice or couscous or uh, quinoa you want. But I put a little bacon with a little sauteed carrots, onion, and celery. That's it. That's simple and it's really delicious. Hey guys, just so you know, today... Um, Ken made it easy for me. Instead of me chopping everything by hand, uh, he bought me fresh cut vegetables. It has your onions on the bottom, carrots, and celery. Now, I divided it because you, you could just throw the whole thing in like this. Most people would. My mother does. My daughter wouldn't. I don't. I like to start with my carrots for a couple minutes, then I add my celery, and then I'll add my onions. Um, I'm making that rice my father likes. It's white. It's the white rice. It's crumbled bacon as much as you want. I have I don't know how much I'm going to use already, but I did cook a bound. But we'll see what I'm, if I, how much I'm going to use. Um, I'm using four family size extra large white um, rice. Success. You could use brown rice. Um, the bottom line is this is about a heaping, heaping one cup. If you don't want a heaping, let's say it's a cup and one fourth of carrots. The same as celery. And it's about two cups of onions. I don't know if I'm going to use the whole two cups of onions. We'll see. Um, carrots, you have to be t uh, careful when you cook with them because they can take over your dish. It can make it very sweet and give you that carrot flavor. I'm just looking for a nice, even balance. So I'm going to saute these, and I'll show you that. And if my nails look a little tinted today, like a brownish tinge to them, that's okay. I was uh, coloring somebody's hair, and I... Um, and when I put the toner on, I did not use gloves and I just really played with the hair and massaged it in and worked it in. And so now my fingers are paying the price today. They're tinted. So anyway, let's get back to cooking. Okay. And then over here, I'm making a pineapple um, with Ritz crackers. Um, cheddar cheese is delicious. It's a really nice little pineapple bake you do in the oven. And it's, re it's a really nice compliment with um, ham. And it's funny, my son-in-law, Teddy, hates anything cheese hates cheese but he cannot get enough of this you can't taste the cheese it just is a really delicious flavor really good but let's go back to uh, doing the rice it's just a smidgen of vegetable oil with a little bit of bacon juice okay you don't not bacon juice bacon fat you don't have to use that um, you can use whatever oil or whatever combination you want okay so now I'm going to just put a tad of salt and pepper on this. Okay. Just a little bit. You've got to season all your layers, so I will season the onions and the celery too. Okay. Maybe we can put the light on for you. It's a little bit better. Okay. I'm just going to cook this down for about a minute or two longer okay I'm just gonna get this a little bit a slight jump start over the celery and then I'll add the celery and then give that another couple of minutes and then my my add my onion again everybody else you can just dump it all at once and it, it, it is fine but I'm just so particular and again I'm just thinking if I have now not enough carrot to go with all that rice I'll just cut back on some of the rice this is just I wanted to get my dad leftovers and I could always make this batch again. I could actually always cook more carrot if I wanted to and just keep the rice. But for my liking, I think that would be good. Okay. All right. So now let me start getting um, another minute and I'm going to get the celery. I'm cooking over a medium heat. Not really medium high, just like a medium. Okay. I'm going to spread that around a little bit. And just a little pepper. And just a little bit of salt. That's good. And I salted my water for the rice. That's that pot here. Um, I did salt that water. Okay, so I'm just going to cook this for a couple of minutes. And then I'll add the onion. And I hope everybody had a blessed and happy Easter. Or Passover, whatever season you celebrate. I hope just you had nice, uh, a nice relaxing Sunday. Okay, this is the onions. And all together, I would say... This has been cooking all together with the carrots and the celery now. Um, about a five minute head start. So we started with the carrots. We, excuse me, yeah. And then we added the celery. So all together, that's been about five minutes. And now here's my onion. 
And this is about two cups of onion. I'm gonna see what that looks like and see if I wanna add more. Okay, let's see. There's pepper. A little salt. That's it. And now I'm gonna cook this to my doneness. So right now I'll probably use about more about a cup and a half, a little bit more than a cup and a half of onions. Um I think that's good. You guys can do you know what you want, but I think that's enough onion. I like that combination. I like that ratio. Let me get that out. All right, guys, we'll be back. Guys, I'm adding about a tablespoon of butter, okay? I'm going to definitely add butter to my rice once it cooks. I just wanted to show you that, okay? Just so you can see, I put a lid on um, this just so I'm going to steam it down. Maybe about, about four minutes or so. We'll see. If you like your vegetables with a little bit more color, you could definitely go a little bit longer. But I think that's good. Because you know what? Like I said, I have the rice, the bacon, and that little bit of flavor is good. Okay, so let me get busy with putting butter on the rice. I drained it. Guys, I put about um, a stick of butter in here. But I'm going to let you know how much rice is in here. Now, whether I'm going to use all this rice or not, it depends on how much of the mixture I made. Um, and I'll give you exact measurements of what I did. But just wanted to show you. Mixing the butter in. Now, since I salt my water, I should not have to add salt to this. But when I mix everything together, I am going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. But I just want to taste it now at this stage. Perfect. I use salt and butter too. Spot on. Ken just told me each bag for the family size bag for the success rice is three cups. I use four, so that's 12 cups. So I'm going to definitely take out um, three I guess I can always add more back, but you, you can't. Once you add, you can't take out. But you do always add more. So that's what I'm gonna do. If I want to add more rice back, I will. So let me get busy with that, and then we'll add our um, sauté vegetables and some bacon. Let me show you what three cups looks like when you take it out. It's a decent amount, isn't it? I didn't realize it would be that much, but that's good. Okay, so that's a good amount. I think I'm gonna be adding some of that back. So far, I've added three uh, pieces of bacon. I'm going to be adding, yes, more because I have nine cups. But sometimes I just use this. That's just pure meat. And I try to get rid of some of that fat. Um, and I'll just break that in there. But pull that off the bacon. So right now, that's seven slices of bacon. And you know that little solid meat thing I showed you? That. Plus, I pulled off some of... Um, the fat going you know off my slices when I threw it in there here is the um, vegetable mixture I'm gonna throw it all in there so we had about three and a half cups oh no probably because we used the heaping cups uh, so we had probably about four cups altogether of vegetables mostly heavy-handed on the onions because you do it according to your taste okay I'm gonna add a little bit let me first stir this around perfect 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 amount of bacon I think yeah and you know what I don't think I'm gonna be adding any more rice back so I think I cooked enough vegetables go to go with that amount of um, rice but you know what that rice is good because you could do a lot of other things with that rice including casseroles with chicken and broccoli and some cheese so okay so let me add my bacon excuse me my pepper Okay, and just uh, a pinch of salt only because you know what? Bacon and salty. And I salted all my layers, and that rice was perfect. Okay, that's that's it. And then the pineapple thing I'm gonna make, I'll leave a link. I'm gonna post this recipe first, and then I have to make obviously that recipe. So if you want that, the pineapple recipe, check back for it. Um, I'm going to do it today. Just check back. So I'm going to post this now, come back and cook the pineapple. And then at some time later tonight, I'll add the link to the pineapple. 
and vice versa. If you watch the pineapple, then I'll leave this link to it. But okay, let me give it a quick taste, and I'll do this on camera, but I just want to taste it um, for seasonings. Oh, goodness, I just want to butt of everything, but not too much. Mm, very good. Delicious. Perfect. That's my spoon hitting the floor. Delicious. Mmm. And just here it is in the bowl. Really yummy. So delicious. Perfect. Hey, let's try the rice. The bacon with the, um... Mmm. I taste bacon. And you taste that melody of vegetables. Mmm. I taste that bacon. Really good. Awesome. Try it.